difficult to figure out. I mean, obviously it is a, a, an industry like anime doesn't survive unless there's money flow. Um, your money has to go into the industry. And it's kind of irresponsible to say, well, other people are doing it, I don't have to. So logically, thus, it is, you know, if, if you like this stuff and you want to see more of it, um, and you have any spare cash at all, it is, you know, beholden on you, if you will, to spend that as, as, as available to you uh, and as appropriate. And so how do, we, how do we make more of that happen? How do we make more money flow into the anime industry? And I don't think there are any really good answers. You know, we can encourage... Um, uh, when we know and befriend people and they're not helping the industry, you can obviously just tell them, hey, you know, have you thought about a subscription to Crunchyroll? Have you thought about that kind of stuff? Um, that's a good point, Game Escape, actually, is to do shows like this on YouTube and Twitch and and places like that and you know, recommend things and get people to, to, to find them. I wonder to that point if it makes sense to point people to like the legitimate ways of getting it, to point people, pe people to say, you know, hey, there is a, oh, one second. Uh, plug something in there over there. There we go. Uh, point people to, to, at the end to say, here are the DVDs, you know, go, go buy them. Um, but that changes so much. You know, DVD availability, Blu-ray availability is just really hard and even streaming changes. Um, so yeah, that's a good point, is just proselytize anime, and at the very least, don't say, you know, here's an, here's a pirated fan sub site, you know, go watch it there, <laughs> you know, uh, don't push people to the piracy, but... Yeah, that's a, that's a really good point, is to to tell people about things. I think also importantly, tell people, people, tell people about this, the stuff that's not on everyone's lips. You know, um, everyone knows about Attack on Titan. Everyone knows about Yuri on Ice. Um, you know, we, we don't need more, um, you, you know, I don't think the industry will be, um, uh, we'll get a lot more money by somebody else coming out and saying, I like, you know, that thing. You can certainly do it, it's just not, you know, it, it doesn't help this particular thing. But telling people about weird off-the-wall stuff can certainly push people in those directions. Um, and for what it's worth, Game Escape, I don't know if I'm a hardcore fan anymore. <laughs> that, that's weird. I, I kind of come, definitely come and go in terms of how, you know, how much of a, of a serious fan I am, depending on the, the day and the week. I spent most of Thursday cooking and baking, but there's that. I wonder if it's also it would also help to push people towards the Kickstarters, you know, when there is a Kickstarter for either like you know the the Bean Bandit stuff for actual Japanese productions, or like the Kickstarter for Takano Video or uh, Gunsmith Cats, uh, the Blu-ray release over here, you know, I think pushing those certainly would help to raise the uh, the raise folks' knowledge of those things existing. I mean, definitely people people like to know those things and appreciate it. Uh, for a while on the old site, I had a page listing all of the active um, Kickstarters out there. And just every week I'd go in and update that and list the Kickstarters that were out there. But... Yeah, Earthquake. Um... So yeah, I think that, that crowdfunding stuff, that makes sense. You push people towards the crowdfunding because that is money going directly towards those projects and it's um, it's not as... Uh, the money isn't bouncing through as many hands as it does when you're buying something you know, retail. Um, you know, you, you're, you're not paying for the retailer and the warehouse space and all that kind of stuff. You're actually paying for the thing itself. I'm hoping that soon we'll get more of that kind of direct stuff in Japan where there will be uh, more shows that are financed, not entirely by the fans, that's crazy, but that we'll get, you know, kind of fans as partial members of the production committee, you know, putting some money in to, make, to see a show get made. I think that'd make a lot of sense. That'd be a really cool thing to do. And then you could, you know, share progress reports. Tell, tell folks, here's what's happening. Here's what we've done. Here's what we haven't done. 
here's here's uh you know here are the character designs all that stuff i mean it opens up to a lot of more problems because then people can complain and say well i don't like those character designs and i'm paying for it so you got to change it it's like well i don't know about that um so i don't know how else could we encourage um fans to support the industry i mean would it make sense to kind of raise the the hue and cry about the economics of the situation i'm continuously surprised by how many fans just have not th thought through the fact that like the show that they love a year from now may not get made if the studio that would have made it goes out of business between now and then because people weren't spending enough money on DVDs and Blu-rays and streaming service and all that kind of stuff. You know, um, studios got out of business all the time. Like there was one just this week that a studio went out of business in Japan. Uh, it had worked on the fourth Tenchi OVA, among other things. It was a, it was a small little studio, a small subsidiary, but it went bankrupt. And it's like, um, but I don't know what's the best way of doing that other than just posting things on Tumblr occasionally. It's hard. And it can come across as kind of condescending and saying, well, you should, you should spend money on this thing. Um, I don't know what's the best way of saying that in a way that people will actually listen to instead of saying, yeah, 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 whatever. Uh, it's, it's just hard to, uh, to get that across. I don't know. Maybe we just need to get on Medium and post a bunch of stuff about this. I don't, I don't know. Um, yeah, for sure. I don't know. And I, I, I literally don't know how many fans these days support the industry by buying the DVDs or, you know, again, supporting the streaming services. Um, certainly the older fans I want to cross do that. And by older, I mean, you know, 30 or older. Um, a lot of the young fans own zero DVDs or Blu-rays. Um, I run into quite a few fans, actually, who own no anime. Um, they either, yeah, they stream it legally or illegally. Often illegally. Um, and especially, you know, the teenagers, they, they rarely buy it, if at all. Um, and that could just be, you know, a pattern. It could just be that when you start, you, you don't pay for it. And, you know, once, they, once those people get a little older, they will, they will get more. But I, and I, maybe there are a lot, maybe, maybe a lot of people do buy DVDs and Blu-rays. I just, I don't... I'm not aware of numbers. Um, you know, I do know that you know sales are in the thousands. Last time I checked, oh, this was this was quite a few years ago. Um, but you know, DVDs and Blu-rays certainly are not selling to the scale you would expect from Oticon and Anime Expo. Um, I don't know. Then again, the, the, you know DVD and Blu-ray sales in Japan are not what I'd expect given Comicat. You know, there are a lot of people in Japan who consume anime and manga, relatively speaking. Um, and even there, you know, a, a huge show will sell 50,000 copies. Uh, which seems to me really, really small. But, I don't know. It does seem like a, you know, um, we, we are certainly not living in a world where a large majority of fans have very large collections of anime. You know, it's not like people are routinely only watching anime on DVD on DVDs and Blu-rays that they bought. Um, but I certainly don't think it's the opposite either, where nobody's buying DVDs or Blu-rays. So it's I don't know. It's hard to hard to say. Maybe next time I go to an anime convention, I'll do like a show of hands to see where that is. It's an interesting question to ask. Uh, to see just kind of who own how many people there own any anime on DVD or Blu-ray. I don't know. Maybe this is one of those things that does require more data and more investigation into the actual habits of otaku. It's a good point, Fisher. Thank you. Um, yeah, so I think that'll do it for this topic for this week. Um, we may have to revisit this as we think about it more. It's one of those things that's just... It takes some thinking, and it's not an easy thing to, to solve. 